In this tutorial, we would like to show you how to mount and adjust a numeric YENA measuring system. Since you don't need any special training or years of experience, we have hired someone who has absolutely nothing to do with optical encoders in normal everyday life. This is Lena. Lena normally does not really care for technology. Today she will assemble and adjust a measuring system from numeric YENA which is able to measure in the nanometer range. You think it will be a disaster? Well, we'll see. Should we start? In order to be able to mount the measuring system, the user needs to meet the corresponding mechanical conditions beforehand. These include on the one hand assembly of the scanning head, such as a mounting angle with suitable thread holes, and on the other hand, mounting of the scale tape which must be positioned correctly to match the scanning head. This can be done with the help of a mounting groove or an edge. Numeric Yena also offers so-called guide tapes for those customers who cannot provide a mounting groove or edge. It is important that the given mechanical tolerances are maintained in order to ensure faultless functioning of the measuring system. The specifications for the mechanical tolerances can be found in the user manuals. These are available in the download section of the Numeric Yena website at www.numericyena.de. Let's get started. We always recommend that our customers read the user manuals for the respective product first. These will not only give you more details about the measuring system, but also what you have to consider in order to ensure error-free operation. The first step on the schedule is cleaning. Just like Lena, use a soft, lint-free cloth and cleaning liquid such as alcohol or acetone. Lena cleans all mounting surfaces to ensure that no impurities or residues, such as fingerprints, remain on the adhesive surface. In the next step, the scale tape is mounted. This can be done in different ways. The simplest way is to mount the scale tape in a groove provided for this purpose. The scale tape comes with double-sided adhesive tape as standard and can simply be glued to the machine ground. Lena marks the start of the measurement range or scale tape with a pen. Now she peels off approximately 2 to 3 centimeters of the double-sided adhesive tape's red protective film. This is then positioned at the mark and glued into the groove. The red protective film should be hinged aside. Using her forefinger and a soft cloth, Lena now slides down from the beginning of the scale tape to the end. She pulls the red protective film off as she goes and exerts slight pressure on the scale tape so that the double-sided adhesive tape adheres completely to the machine ground. During this step, the blue protective film applied on the scale tape should still be in place to avoid scratches or other damage. So Lena, was that difficult? Or complicated? Now Lena removes the blue protective film from the scale tape. This is followed by assembling the scanning head. Lena first removes the protective film from the sensor glass and holds the scanning head against the mounting surface. Now the scanning head can be fixed by using the two screws provided. It is important to leave the screws slightly loose at first so that the scanning head can still be moved back and forth a bit. Now the distance gauge comes into play. It is placed between the scanning head and the scale tape and defines the distance between these two components. Lightly press the measuring head against the distance gauge and tighten the screws. Then carefully remove the distance gauge. If this is difficult to do and the distance gauge is stuck, loosen the screws and try again with less pressure between the scanning head and the distance gauge. This is important to avoid damage to the sensor or scale tape. Once the distance gauge has been removed, the assembly of the measuring system is finished. In principle, the measuring system is now ready to use, but Numeric Yena also offers its customers additional possibilities.
do you know what that is? This is a so-called adjustment tool. It helps to evaluate the measuring signals and mounting quality and serves to optimize the measuring system. Okay, Lena, let's get it connected. Lena now connects the measuring system and the PC to the adjustment tool and starts the EpiFlex software on the computer. As soon as the software has successfully detected the adjustment tool and the measuring system, the measuring signals will be displayed in the form of a Lizajou figure. Numeric Yena's measuring systems have an integrated function called online compensation. This function monitors the measurement signals during operation and is able to compensate signal fluctuations in real time. Lena now switches off the online compensation to see the raw signals. The Liz as you figure should ideally be circular and within the blue range. Slight deviations are not a problem and can be corrected by performing a signal optimization. Lena now starts the automatic signal adjustment procedure and moves the linear guide back and forth as smoothly as possible. Furthermore, it is important that the index mark on the scale tape is detected in order for it to be optimally adjusted by the software too. During the signal adjustment process, a status window will be displayed in the EpiFlex software. This status window shows the individual optimization steps and their status. If the system moves too quickly or too slowly during the adjustment, it is also indicated in the status window. If this happens, simply adjust the speed. When the adjustment is finished successfully, you only have to save the new sensor parameters and the measuring system is ready for operation. All right, Lena, are you surprised? You have just installed an optical measuring system which is able to measure in the nanometer range and put it into operation. All that without any special training or experience. That's how easy it is to use the measuring system from Numeric Yena.